Right. Okay, so let's start with the items you need to make our rainbow toast today. So we're going to need um, some food coloring. My food coloring comes with yellow, blue, green, and red. Uh, whatever colors you have on hand are just fine. You will need bread. White bread is preferable as it's a better uh, palette for your colors. But if you have whole wheat bread at home, that's fine too. You will need some milk to make your edible paint. Um, cups, I'm using clear cups just so you can kind of see the colors and how they mix. But you could use any small cups or bowls that you have at home. Uh, I have some spoons here for mixing. And then our paint brushes for this are going to be Q-tips. Uh, you could use paint brushes if you want, but you'd want those to be brand new paint brushes. So Q-tips work really well. Um, and then of course you want some paper towels on hand because food coloring could sometimes get messy and it does stain. All right, so I am going to start with taking out a cup for each of my colors. So red, green, blue and yellow and then the really great science part of this is we're going to be learning a little bit about how you mix colors so um, we are going to be doing red and blue to make purple and we're going to be doing red and yellow to make orange and that'll be our palette for today so what we're going to do is we're going to take some milk and we're just gonna fill each cup up about a quarter of the way. Okay, it's maybe just a couple of tablespoons, but this also depends on how many pieces of bread um, you're going to be painting for your activity. For me, I'm just doing this today for me to have a little fun and show you guys how to do it yourself at home. So I filled each cup up a quarter of the way, and then I'm gonna start with my yellow here, and you want about three dots per cup. So one, two, three. Blue. One, two, three. Now the more you put in, the darker your color will be. Green. One, two, three. And red. One, two, three. Now I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to give it a little swirl. You can already see the yellow. Okay, I'm going to put that upside down. And I'm going to use my next one. That is our blue. These are making really nice pastel colors. And then we have our green. So just a few dots goes a long way. And our red. And all this is is milk with some food coloring. And that's what makes it edible paint. So I'm going to move these over to the side. And now we're going to mix our colors a little bit. So, if we take our red, okay, and do three drops, one, two, three, and take our blue with another three drops, one, two, three, and we mix that up. Does anybody remember what color we get? We get a really pretty purple. There's our purple. And lastly, we're going to take our yellow. Do three dots of yellow. One, two, three. And three of red. One, two, three. And give that a good mix to get a nice bright orange. And with that, we will clean up our paint. We have a rainbow of colors here. This is a palette of edible 
paint. How great is that? Okay, so it looks now like we're ready to paint our toast. So we want to have our Q-tips ready, and we want to just use one Q-tip per color, or at least one side per color. Um, so uh, you want to have a paper towel somewhere to put it down, and I think I'm going to go with a little bit of a tie-dye theme, like a rainbow. I'm going to start with my red, and you're just going to kind of dab it on. Now you do need to dip it again and again to get a real good saturation of color. Red, go to some orange. It's nothing like um, edible artwork. And there's nothing you could do wrong here. No matter what, it's going to look fun and it's going to taste delicious. of a surprise for you at the end not only are you going to get to make some toast but I'm going to show you um, another recipe that you can use your rainbow toast to make so we got red orange yellow So you could paint whatever you want if you want to try to paint um, an actual image, a flower, or the sun, or the rainbow, or a face, an emoji. Uh, you could do whatever you want. You should get creative with it. Give it a try. What's the worst that happens? You grab a new piece of bread and start again. I'm here at Venture Center today in our kitchen or model apartment as some people call it and it is pouring outside so this nice bright rainbow of a snack I'm making here will definitely help lighten the day for me. Typical spring day, lightning, thunder, you only get that kind of storm when the spring is here, right? Spring and summer. All right, blue, and then I'll do some purple. Right in my edges. What do you think? Great, so we're gonna do one more and I will show you with this one um, how you might want to, you know, if you wanna do something a little more concrete, you wanna do a picture, maybe you wanna do the sun against the sky. So we'll start with our orange and I'll just make a circle. All right, so what color is the sun? A lot of times we see it and it's in yellows and oranges. So this is kind of like using watercolor paints, right? You could kind of mix them together and create different shades of color. So I'm doing that, and I think I'll even take a little bit of red, and mix it in. And then what does the sun have? The sun has some rays, right? Let's make some sun rays. This is not about perfection. This is about fun. Let's 
works also doesn't take a long time so it's a really nice activity when you just have a little bit of spare time you want to make a snack share it with your friends or impress them on something cool I don't know if you could see that but there's our Sun is starting to come to I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to my rays in blue for the sky. So as you could see, I still have a lot of paint left over. I could probably do the entire loaf of bread with the paints I have here. So you can mix um, your cups and then you can separate it even further into multiple cups and give everybody their um, own little cup of each color. But this is definitely enough paint, edible paint, to make several slices. Now, if you're just going to make your toast and throw some butter on it, then you would uh, be almost done. We're going to start with that. So when you're done painting your bread, you want to get your oven ready. Uh, you can certainly put it in the toaster. I'm going to put it in the oven. So you want to preheat the oven to 350 and put it on a sheet pan and cook it for six to eight minutes just to get it toasted. So I have my bread here, a sun, and the nice blue sky, and my little tie-dye rainbow. And now we're going to make it into toast. Okay, so look, our rainbow toast is out of the oven and it kept all its beautiful color. It's actually even, uh, looks even more saturated than it did before. So now you could simply make rainbow toast and throw some butter or margarine on and enjoy your edible artwork. Um, you could also put some yummy cheese in the middle, put them together, throw it on your pan and make some grilled cheese. Um, I, however, am going to do something a little bit different. Um, so I am going to do what my kids like to call a bird's nest, which is a sunny side up egg um, in toast. So what we do is we use a cookie cutter. Any cookie cutter you want is fine. I'm going to use a nice tulip for the spring. You cut out by pressure. You could also just use any um, a glass you have at home to make a nice round circle in the middle. So you can pop out a little bit more pressure. So you can pop out your piece. Now, yes, I know I'm losing some of my pretty artwork, but I've got to do it and enjoy it. And you could still put some... Uh, butter on here and enjoy a nice little edible flower. So I take my other piece of toast down ways so that I can still see the art when I'm eating. Layer it up. I'm use this to crack my egg. You crack your egg right into the center. Okay. And we're gonna walk it over to the microwave. This is a super easy task that almost anybody can do. Pop your whole plate, bread and eggs in the microwave for one minute. Start, wait till you see what it looks like. So one minute in the microwave, we have what is a beautiful, runny, sunny side up egg poached right inside of our beautiful artwork. It's hot, you do have to let it cool off, but you could see your artwork on the other side and your egg in the middle. I hope you enjoyed our very first video of Cooking with Krista. Have a great day.